The Grade II listed 3rd Liverpool Royal Infirmary was constructed between 1887 and 1889 to the designs of the Victorian architect Alfred Waterhouse. The hospital served the city of Liverpool for almost 90 years. The building itself is a masterpiece of construction and rightly listed for posterity, but as advances in medicine were being made, the Regional Health Authority actively pursued a new site for a new hospital. All hospital operations were transferred to the present Royal Liverpool University Hospital in 1978, although some ancillary users remained for a short length of time. By 1981, the hospital was completely vacated. At about this time, a unique partnership between the NHS and the University of Liverpool was created and the opportunity to restore the Royal Infirmary to its former glory and contribute to the regeneration of Liverpool was grasped. This partnership and redevelopment has enabled the infirmary to once again be a significant centre of healthcare, teaching and research, a resource for students and the local community to be proud of. The buildings that make up the infirmary, including the boiler house, are of traditional style of the era with liberal use of terracotta and red pressed brickwork for external detailing. The neo-Romanesque and Gothic mass and detailing of the building's exterior gave its frontage a sense of restrained monumentality, yet the real beauty was in the infirmary's organisation and utility. The walls were tiled with glazed coloured brick, allowing for creative designs which echoed the great Romanesque church interiors of southern France. The overall effect was one of both aesthetic and hygienic attraction, which reaches a visual climax in the hospital chapel, which formed the centrepiece of this Victorian institutional structure, and commented upon the contemporary preoccupation with the well-being of the spirit as well as the body. The chapel was of considerable size and it was possible to seat almost 300 people. It contained a beautiful font and had a fine lectern in the form of an eagle. Services were held every Sunday and a special service was held every Christmas which was attended by consultants and staff with their patients and nurses. There was a fire in chapel on September 29, 1913 when part of the organ and a wall were destroyed. Liverpool-born architect and champion of the High Victorian Gothic, Alfred Waterhouse, was a natural choice for the infirmary design, having already designed a number of Liverpool buildings, notably the North Western Hotel on Lime Street and the Prudential Insurance Building on Dale Street. Working in collaboration with Florence Nightingale on the ward designs, Waterhouse's plan for the building was both inspirational and effective, consisting of a main administration block with a spinal corridor giving access to eight pavilion nightingale wards and two blocks of circular wards giving a total accommodation of 290 beds. This huge hospital building required heating of course and the coal-fired Victorian boiler house and combined chapel of rest and mortuary buildings were built in a complementary style of the main hospital buildings with red brick terracotta exteriors and stained glass windows to the chapel facades and French style architectural leadwork on the roof. In a report from architect Alfred Waterhouse, his advice for the structure of the mortuary in 1886 was that the passage to the mortuary should be on the ground floor and the space between the passage under the ward and the mortuary should be below ground so that it could not be seen from any of the ward windows. This block of buildings would consist of a waiting room for friends a room in which the friends of the deceased may see the remains, a large common mortuary and a post-mortem room. The boiler house served an innovative heating system using steam pipes and radiators and a modern air circulation system serving the hospital buildings. This innovative design in both the boiler house and the hospital buildings was sensitive to the risks of fire with the floors having concrete rather than wooden bases. The boiler house served the hospital well and its coal fired boilers were replaced with oil fired boilers at some point and remained the primary heating system until the hospital finally closed its doors in 1981. At this time all maintenance work then ceased on the buildings the only work being an asbestos removal contract in the mid-1980s. 
When the university took ownership of the site, it was in an advanced state of dereliction and decay. Dry and wet rot were prevalent in a number of locations. Once site clearance had started, it soon became obvious that some parts of the buildings on the site were in serious structural condition, including the former coal-fired boiler house, chapel and mortuary building. A long period of restoration began from the mid-80s until present day, and the old hospital wings were gradually and lovingly restored, with many of the original architectural features retained. The last buildings to be refurbished were the boiler house and one of the circular wards, which were both fully restored and brought back into service in 2014-15. The Boiler House building, which sits on Ashton Street next to Cedar House, was in an extremely dilapidated condition when the FM Department of the University chose it as the site for their new energy centre and in 2013 embarked on an ambitious redevelopment scheme in conjunction with the conservationists at Liverpool City Council. Being a Grade 2 listed building, there were many restrictions imposed on the building and alterations that could be made to it, for example, agreement was given to allow the installation of an air plenum on the roof. In many ways the building is unchanged on the exterior and the old slate roofing tiles were lifted off, cleaned and replaced and the ornate original chimney stack was repointed and made structurally safe, though it is for decorative purposes only and plays no part in the functioning of the energy centre itself. Now the building is home to two combined heat and power electricity generation plants which generate heat and power for the university in an environmentally friendly way. This state-of-the-art combined heat and power engines provide campus heating and additional 4 megawatts of electricity for the university's electricity network. Sympathetically installed within the Grade 2 listed building, the project involved the alteration and refurbishment of the existing building to allow the installation of the CHP and associated plant. This exciting extension to the university's award-winning heating infrastructure project, Energy Centre, which came online in 2009 and also houses a 3.5 megawatt combined heat and power engine, will mean that the university will be almost self-sufficient in electrical generation and using the waste heat from this process will provide heating and hot water facilities to almost all of the buildings on the main campus. As well as breathing life into a former Victorian boiler house and preserving its rich architectural heritage for many years to come, this 21st century energy centre will be delivering real operational cost savings to the university and go a long way to help the university achieve its carbon reduction targets by reducing the carbon emissions to the atmosphere and saving approximately £1.2 million per year in operational costs. The refurbishment of the old boiler house was delivered on time and on programme and within its £7.85 million project budget and is a real statement of intent from the University of Liverpool in relation to sustainable technology. This energy centre and the original heating infrastructure project means that the University of Liverpool will be home to one of the largest on-site generators of electricity in the higher education sector and an exemplar for other higher education and further education institutions and public sector bodies such as local authorities. The site has been host to numerous visits from other universities, staff and students and external professional bodies. More than just an environmentally friendly energy centre, the refurbished Victorian boiler house is a marvellous example of a heritage restoration of a classic building from the great Victorian builders and will continue to play a key role in the life of the University of Liverpool for many years to come.